So I am no longer on board with drafting a cornerback in the first round because he's just going to wind up being traded. So a tweet came out today by Jeremy Fowler from ESPN saying, a surprise, multiple team execs believe the Jaguar, that Jaguars cornerback CJ Henderson, the ninth overall pick in 2020, is available via trade. Jacksonville has given impression in some league circles that it's shopping Henderson, a high pedigree player one year into his rookie deal. Now, this is something that it really didn't come as too much of a surprise to me. I know I've kind of been telling you guys that I feel a little bit uneasy about C.J. Henderson just because of a lot of just his activities. Um, I mean, mainly he got put on the IR in 2020 halfway through with a groin injury, and then he was missing OTAs with a shoulder injury that lingered into the start of training camp. Then all of a sudden he was put on the reserve COVID list and his body language wasn't good. And then he was finally back. And, and you know, once he was back, I was like, okay, I feel better. Cena Harrison's back. We're good. And then he misses practice with due to, due to some personal reasons. And, you know, that's, and the thing is Urban Meyer and stuff has been very transparent about a lot of things with the Jaguars. And even he seems like, like at a loss for words when it comes to um, CJ Henderson and really what is going on with him. And I mean, I am not someone that really believe because there's a bunch of different theories out there. There's people that say he doesn't want to be in Jacksonville. I don't think that's necessarily the case because like, I just think a lot of what he shows, like, I don't think he'd really be happy anywhere. I think a lot of it is up there mentally. And, you know, if he has mental issues, like, I'm okay with that. Look, if he wants to sit here and step away from the 2020 season or 2021 season due to health reasons, you know, I'll give him the Simone Biles treatment, kiss his feet and call him a hero, a brave hero. But I don't know what's going on with them. We have no idea. There's nothing that's been made public. You know, it's just ever since day one when he's uh, ex when he with Jaguars drafted him, literally from the moment they Jaguars drafted him, you know, they go to the CJ Henderson family room and it looked like you just told him his grandma died. I mean, it was a just a weird situation, and then just some of the stuff with the Jaguars. I don't know. It's all been uh, very very sketchy. He's had even last year some weird tweets uh, coming out. And it's just, I've always just been very uneasy about CJ Henderson. I know a lot of people told me, don't worry, he's just in COVID list. Everything's going to work out. You're freaking out. I don't know. I just always had a weird feeling about the CJ Henderson deal. And, you know, now he's, I don't know. I really, and when it comes to trade runners, I don't know. I, I think the Jaguars are putting it out there that they are willing to shop him, but I don't see the Jaguars getting much for him. I mean, right now you're selling him at the lowest point, even though, I mean, he's still got three years left on his rookie deal. He's got a very affordable contract um, on his hands, but like, why would you do it now? I think they're putting feelers out there. I think if a team is willing to give up like a second round pick, then they would just do it in a heartbeat. Um, but at this point, like who wants to trade you know, for a disgruntled guy like this. I just don't know of anybody. And, you know, this is one thing that even dating to last year, I was kind of saying, I was like, look, it sucks that COVID is going on right now because the Jaguars have two first round picks and like really all this draft capital. And you're not able to talk to these guys one on one. You know what I mean? Everything was done through Zoom. So literally the day CJ Henderson was drafted, they probably had never talked to him in person. So they weren't able to, you know, and who knows, maybe the situation would have been way different if they were able to sit him down, shake his hand, talk to him, bring him into the facility. Maybe they said, okay, you know, talking to him in person, his film is great, but maybe he's not really fitting in character wise with us. It's a weird situation, but like I said, I don't see the Jaguars trading him. I just don't see the Jaguars getting enough like draft capital or like and not even enough draft capital, but you're selling him at his lowest point. You know, what I mean, we can we can hold out and kind of see what's going on with him, but I do think that the Jaguars right now are gauging, you know, whether or not he's available and the thing or what what they would get for him, I should say. And it was also pretty telling when the Jaguars drafted a cornerback number 33 overall. I was also right then I was immediately saying, why are we drafting another cornerback? You know, what I mean, cornerback, it's a very important position. We addressed in free agency with Shaquille Griffin. So it'd be like, boom, Shaquille Griffin. Then you have um, then you have CJ Henderson. Then he can slide uh, whoever. Uh, hopefully it was going to be Sidney Jones over to the slot. But then it's like, OK, I mean, I guess we're pretty good at cornerback right now. And then now this happens um, and it's all 
been made pretty obvious that maybe they just weren't feeling very good about him and you know like I said I mean I don't I don't like to speculate on different things but all we can do at this point is speculate I think it's mental health I think I don't think he winds up playing a snap for the Jaguars in 2021 I don't think he winds up playing a snap you know hopefully if something's going on with him hopefully he gets better I really do hope he gets better and I also hope he gets back I mean like I said it's a business I hope that he's communicating with the Jaguars openly I just I don't know. I, I hope the best for him. I really do. Like like all of us, we don't we don't know anything. Um, but it's just been a real disaster in my eyes. Uh, it's just weird. He came back for one practice and then misses. And now, I don't know. It's weird. Let me know what you guys think, man. I'm not going to take too much of your time. CJ Henderson, apparently they're kind of, might be shopping to trade for him. So we'll see what happens. Go Jacks. You guys watched the whole video. Really appreciate that. You guys can subscribe to the channel for the best source of Jaguars news on the YouTube platform. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at UCF underscore Jaguar. And you can become a member of the channel for as low as $3 a month for exclusive channel content. Thank you, guys, and go Jags.